Hey guys, this is the Chan Clan, and this is a Tech Talk review and unboxing of the Osmo Mobile 3. This is the combo uh, gimbal uh, that allows handheld uh, motion stabilization of your phone. So gone are the shaky cam uh, videos of the future. We're sitting in our backyard, we're gonna set this up and we're gonna take a rolling tour of how the gimbal works and how it compares to just handheld hand stabilization. Uh, in the combo kit, which runs 139 versus 119 for the gimbal alone, we all have uh, we also have the extra tripod, which folds out like a fan here and screws into the bottom, as well as uh, we have a included USB-C charging cable, goes to a A port and into the C connection, connection here. Uh, nice little carrying case that you can put the gimbal in when you're done, as well as a carrying bag. Uh, there are some 3M stickers. These look like felt pads. Not exactly what that shirt for. Maybe it's for the tripod. Oh, I'm sorry, tripod. But the tripod also has some rubberized feet. So um, that or maybe for the clamps. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to look that one up a little <laughs> later. But one thing that was interesting uh, when you unbox uh, the Osmo does not contain any printed instructions. There's a couple of stickers on the unit itself uh, that give you a hint. Well, the hint is to download the DJI Mimo app, which is the gimbal's app that you'll need to use to capture video and capture pictures uh, in order for the gimbal to interact and work. Uh, that app does have support documentation, including all the digital instructions, tutorial videos, and I found that exceptionally helpful, other than the fact that, uh, well, there's nothing really in the kit itself to tell you to do that. Uh, ostensibly. So maybe a, a little printout would have been helpful. Confused, download the app, look at the video, look at the instructions there. But hopefully this video will also help to serve you to set up uh, your Osmo uh, gimbal yourself. So what is a gimbal? A gimbal helps with motion stabilization, basically using small motors to stabilize uh, any movement and jitter to allow silky smooth cinematog cinematic filming. There we go. Uh, so a lot of home cinematography now is enabled by these cheap gimbals, which used to run a lot more expensive for film crews to use to motion stabilize those epic and dramatic follow and pan scenes. Uh, now you can do that from the comfort of your backyard, which literally we're sitting in. So we're going to take a tour using two phones, the one in my hand that is hand stabilized. And with the same type of phone, iPhone X here, uh, or iPhone 10, I guess they like to call it. We're gonna set one up on the gimbal right here. So actually what we'll do is set this up on the gimbal right now. I'll show you some of the software features and then we'll do a side-by-side -side walkthrough uh, of the gimbal and the phones side-by-side. -side. So I've gone ahead and set up my second phone on the uh, gimbal here. And what you'll notice immediately is that the arm articulated out. So one of the improvements uh, from the uh, Osmo Mobile 2, which I did not have, was that this one, it folds uh, more compactly uh, and saves you some room. So that's helpful because, uh, you know, this packs down. It's a lot more convenient to carry. So here's the app. The app you'll notice right away uh, has uh, your standard features, video, uh, pano, story, which is some cool dramatic effect. Okay so that you can even do creative storyboarding and things like that within the app. Uh, there are some glam filters for those people who like all the little uh, effects. Uh, but for us, we're just gonna shoot video and uh, we're going to uh, make sure that our gesture controls are off. Uh, what you can do from within the app is actually even set up uh, gestures, uh, follow mode. We're gonna, let's, you know, lock that so that we can actually navigate around. But uh, using gestures, what you can do is you can set up, for example, uh, gestures, and then you can actually give a, a peace sign to the, oh gosh, uh, we have to go the other way around. But if we give a peace sign here, that would tell the camera to start recording um, if we were doing like a photo or whatnot. And that's in one of the tutorials. I have to get the other side, otherwise we have to do a selfie here. So I can't really demonstrate that right now. 4K, 60 frames per second is what we uh, have. We actually don't need our gesture mode right now. Whoops, let's go back to the uh, app here. That's what I was telling you here as far as the storyboard goes. Check this out. It's going to remember I'm in uh, a vertical uh, configuration here. 
but we do have the uh, DJI uh, manual and also tutorials here. So you'll be able to kind of check out the gestures here yourself, how to use the story mode, how to use uh, active track to actually select uh, something to track, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna shoot horizontally. Gimbal's gonna rec recognize one or the other here. Uh, so if you get beyond 45 degrees, uh, it's gonna find the closest configuration. Um, there are buttons on the gimbal to tilt up, tilt down. You can go side to side like this. If you double click the trigger, which is in the front here, okay, uh, that will center you back to your neutral position. Uh, record button to start, the M button uh, to power on, uh, power off. Uh, if it ever uh, doesn't pair well, you push both buttons and that will reset the gimbal and that has uh, fixed the uh, problem I had pairing initially. Uh, some of these stickers, just after I get a hang of this, I'll remove this. Basically, if your phone is aligned that the DJI is upright towards you, uh, that will be the correct orientation. Okay, so hit the uh, little camera one uh, to get into recording mode here. And let's see if our gestures are off. Turn off our gestures. I thought I just turned off the gestures. I turned it on. Never mind. There we go. Uh, there was a firmware update. It goes through Bluetooth. Um, took about you know three to five minutes. Um, so that's something that you can also uh, anticipate when you set up. So the gimbal again. The cool thing about the gimbal is that as you um, as you move around, I think you know what we actually want to change our mode here to I'm going to change this to follow what we can do is set an area that we are interested in we got for example all the way up there and this can even manually track manually track up there manually track over here or in this case we just want it to follow our motion here and this will follow our pan and tilt and basically stabilize any indirect motion that we have here. So you'll notice that I'm moving all the way around here and this is keeping my image steady on the camera. And that works also in the vertical orientation as well. Although most people who shoot video know that screens are not in this orientation so do us all a favor and keep it horizontal. Yeah. Uh, anytime you want to return to a neutral position, just double tap, double tap the front trigger and that will kind of straighten things out for you. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is walk around actually the backyard here and actually see how these two videos compare side by side, one in the gimbal and one on my hand. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, we're in the backyard here and we got the gimbal in one hand and also the camera in the other. We're just going to walk around as we take a look here, see how the image is motion stabilized by the gimbal. This is on FPV mode. Basically, this is just keeping things steady in my hand using the gimbal. Go across here. I'm going to jump down. Alright, just literally jump down from the top of the spa. It's stuck underneath these leaves here. And pan around back here. Going back around here. And ending back here again. So I did a little run around. I'm gonna end the video here and just compare how that looks. So there you have it. That's our early impressions, actually our first impressions of the DJI uh, Mobile 3 uh, Osmo Gimbal, uh, which is performing just as it uh, is stated to do. Uh, this will help us review without uh, shaky camera in the future. So this is a last of our shaky cam uh, video as our future ones will be shot on the gimbal uh, when possible to have a cooler experience. Um, 
it's so far met my expectations aside from some uh, confusing initial instructions uh, or lack thereof. Uh, just download the app for that. Um, it was, was pretty self-explanatory otherwise. I'm sure there's going to be more features to explore like selfies and photos, story modes and other custom filters. Um, but for a early hands-on impression, um, color me impressed. This is a cool piece of technology for a rather affordable price. Um, so if you guys are into the YouTube uh, media recording or just enjoy making home videos like we do, this may be worth a small investment for some better quality videos in the future. All right, hope you enjoyed our uh, tech talk today on the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 combo. Uh, check out our other videos uh, in the uh, tech talk uh, playlist. And we'll catch you next time on the Chan Clan.